Okay, thank you, Mr. Alter, and thank you, uh, VST ECAs. Uh, just like uh, Mr. Alter mentioned, uh, we are new partner to ECAs, and uh, we are very glad uh, uh, ECAs grant us this opportunity to present uh, uh, who we are, what we are doing, and uh, what we can do for you. So uh, in this afternoon, one hour session, uh, the topic I'm going to talk is about uh, how to enhance the cooperation uh, with our new life solution. And with uh, new life solution, uh, I think today, uh, entire section of today, all the topics are surrounding the uh, unified cooperation and uh, how to use this uh, virtual collaboration to uh, keep our workforce uh, stay with uh, efficiency. Uh, in this pandemic, I think it's the problem right now, all of us, not only in Philippines, but around the world, uh, all the countries, we have this kind of problem. And in the past uh, uh, more than one year already, I think uh, almost all the business uh, travel or business movement slow down a lot. Uh, but thanks to the technology and the uh, internet uh, for, of the cloud service uh, keep, uh, uh, I would say 90%, 80% of our regular business moving. So based on this uh, uh, infrastructure we have, how to use the technology uh, we have on hand, I think uh, uh, it's a, a question from all the enterprise owner or the uh, government, uh, should say, uh, in charge. So here, uh, I would like to start from the agenda. We are going to discuss, uh, uh, I, we have, I'm going to present you who we are, and uh, then we will discuss about the changes in our workplace and learning space uh, in the past one year. And of course, uh, because of this change, uh, we will have uh, some problems happen and how to manage this problem uh, with our solution, uh, what we can do uh, to help everyone. Uh, and later, uh, it's about, uh, because if we can work together to do something to help uh, to improve this situation, I think we can, this is also our business. So we are going to discuss about uh, how uh, our channel partners can do research together and last, uh, we will share some uh, case study, which we, we did uh, in Asia Pacific region in the past couple of years with you for your better understanding. Okay, so first of all, uh, New Line, probably uh, New Land, uh, not really familiar uh, for, for all of you, but uh, actually we are in this, uh, uh, in the education ICT, uh, industry already quite some time. We, we are from Texas, USA, and uh, we set up at the year 2012. Uh, so far, we have uh, business in around 60 countries, uh, and we have uh, hundreds of channel partners across the world. Uh, headquarters located in USA uh, for US market. Uh, we have uh, headquarters of Europe located in Spain uh, with uh, many uh, country offices in UK, Germany, Poland, uh, Italy, uh, Russia. Yeah. And we also have uh, presence in India. Uh, in India, we have uh, four major uh, offices in major cities from uh, New Delhi to Mumbai to Chennai and uh, Calcutta. And uh, here we, the, uh, the office located in Taiwan uh, is uh, taking care of uh, Asia Pacific uh, uh, market. And I'm uh, Wen Wang, uh, the general manager of this office. And uh, I will be uh, the, you, your future contact uh, for your local business if uh, any requirement uh, from uh, no matter from ECS or from our ECS partners, those uh, uh, system integrators or uh, resellers. Okay, and our commitment as support is uh, uh, we are trying to provide uh, advanced uh, collaboration solutions uh, for those uh, workspace to enhance uh, this uh, uh, efficiency. And we also have uh, uh, ecosystem uh, to support this uh, unified collaboration service to keep uh, uh, our communication channel open. 
Okay, so in the past couple of years, you can see not, uh, not only physical channel presence, but also uh, we, have, we are active uh, in those online channel presence uh, from LinkedIn, uh, from Facebook, uh, from YouTube. Uh, you, can, uh, you can try to find, uh, find us. And we, so far we have uh, uh, each branch office maintain the regional uh, social media platform. Uh, from US to Europe to APEC in India. So what we are doing, actually uh, from day one, we are, we are committed to uh, provide the UC products that are uh, easy to use. Uh, uh, our key is easy to use and uh, how to leverage the existing uh, infrastructure or the equipments of others. Uh, to integrate and to become uh, useful uh, and uh, efficiency. So if you look into our logo, you will see uh, we have uh, uh, three small letters uh, underneath the new line. It's uh, connect, create, and collaborate. Uh, so the solution we are trying to deliver, uh, trying to develop and deliver is uh, try to connect uh, from point to point, from people to people, uh, from meeting room to meeting room, uh, from office to office, uh, from country to country. And because we build up this uh, connection, so we have the chance uh, for those two different endpoints uh, during their discussion, during their brainstorming, uh, they can create something new. And I think this is how push our world uh, moving forward. Uh, so we have a, a breakthrough, we have improvement, we have new milestone every day. That's what we are doing. And during this uh, create, of course, we need the, the cooperation uh, from these uh, two end point. Uh, the cooperation, not only the, 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 the image or the, the virtual uh, communication, but also uh, the unified collaboration, which we need to see the same document. Uh, uh, so that's the reason why right now you see uh, with Zoom, with Team, they have a share screen, just like uh, the webinar right now we are doing. Uh, earlier, if we have uh, online speech, then probably we can only see uh, the image and hear the voice uh, from the speaker, but uh, uh, we have a difficulty to uh, see the material in the same page unless we print it out or have the copy at our end uh, in advance. But right now with this uh, new technology, uh, desktop sharing, uh, it's very convenient for all of us to, sit, to stay on the same page during our uh, entire uh, speech or presentation. Because we believe that with this uh, uh, connect, create and cooperate, we can have a better communication uh, when we have a better communication, we, we all will have a better understanding. Uh, when we have a better understanding, we are very, we're even more close to success. So this is the, uh, the, the mission uh, we think uh, we are trying to deliver, uh, the service, the value uh, New Line is trying to deliver. Okay, uh, if we go back to check some of our milestone, uh, we can say that uh, uh, here is a, a picture from Future Source, uh, which explained uh, from year 2010 till year 2019, uh, how this uh, uh, presentation ICT equipment involved uh, in the past 10 years. Earlier, we know uh, for presentation, uh, when we talk about presentation, most of application are uh, for school, uh, for teaching, for education. And uh, in this field, we have uh, two major players. One is uh, smart, one is uh, commission. And uh, uh, earlier, the combination of such kind of ICT equipment is uh, identifiable uh, with uh, a projector. Uh, to have uh, material to be presented virtually uh, from the PC and to have uh, a stylus uh, so teachers can annotate on these materials freely. And after time, after time, then uh, till uh, to year 2015, uh, I don't know if everyone remember uh, that is the year Microsoft, uh, they, they launched their very first uh, service hub. 
uh, which I, they see the uh, opportunity and they see the change of uh, ICT technology for the workplace. So they, they launch this uh, uh, service hub as an all-in-one device, uh, which can replace the projector, replace the uh, PC, uh, replace the speaker, amplifier, microphone, speaker, everything together. Yeah. And that is also the same year uh, New Line launched our very first uh, all-in-one uh, X-Series. Uh, X-Series uh, uh, was launched in uh, Invocom uh, USA in year 2015. Uh, because, and after that, you can see more and more uh, big company uh, join this uh, industry uh, from Google, uh, they have John Ball, NEC, we have a Cisco, WebEx, uh, SparkBall, and uh, we have uh, Samsung Flip, and then now uh, Microsoft uh, have this uh, service, uh, service hub too. And we, we, we also have a new Huawei uh, Idea Hub. So uh, this uh, was the, this is the trend happening actually five, six years ago. And now uh, we see more and more uh, company that join this uh, uh, industry because uh, uh, we all foresee uh, the demand on this sector will boom very soon. Uh, it's actually happening uh, from the US, uh, from Europe. Uh, APEC may be a little bit uh, uh, late uh, compared to the other regions, but uh, uh, for sure in the coming maybe two to three years, it will pick up very soon. Okay, so in the past couple of years, we have been uh, take uh, many awards uh, from those uh, audio virtual industry. And year after year, we have uh, many new DRM product. Uh, and also last year, we, uh, we become a partner of Rune uh, for the, we are one of their technology partner. So uh, about uh, the market share uh, in this uh, specific uh, touchscreen industry, uh, we have uh, a report from Future Source, which is a third party uh, marketing uh, organization, which they have uh, data on this part. And you can see, uh, even Newline is a young company, just less than 10 years, but uh, uh, we have a very strong growth and presence uh, in the market uh, uh, in USA. Now, right now we are ranked at the uh, market share number four, and uh, uh, there are many other companies, so uh, they are also doing this business. Okay, after a, a briefing of uh, our background, uh, here I want to discuss, uh, we want to present you what are the changes we obs observed during the past one year uh, of this pandemic. Before that, uh, let's go uh, a quick, uh, uh, preview of the background. Uh, I'm not sure if everybody still remember ICQ or MSN, uh, which is around maybe 20 to 25 years ago when we still have uh, modern and uh, land. Uh, that was a time uh, most of uh, internet communication are done by text only. Yeah. And uh, after the involving of uh, this internet technology, then we uh, came up, uh, we have uh, this 2G and 3G. Uh, we have a uh, wider bandwidth. And during the year 2010, I believe that time, the BlackBerry is uh, very popular because uh, the uh, BlackBerry Messenger. That was the very first time, aside from the PC, we can have a handheld device uh, to communicate. And this is the big uh, improvement uh, for the efficiency uh, of uh, communication, no matter it's in business or non-business uh, uh, wise. And after that, uh, we have a video, we have life size, many different uh, new emerging uh, software-based uh, communication uh, tool, uh, which make uh, our daily communication even more uh, better. Yeah. And now we are in the 4G set, uh, era. We are about jump to uh, 5G. In 4G, we already have so many communication tools like uh, here you can see. Uh, 
uh, we have a personal communication tool, we have a group communication tool. And all these are because uh, the, the infrastructure of the internet is mature. So we have uh, wider bandwidth and uh, uh, we can get rid of those uh, uh, hardware-based video conference solution. Uh, for example, like uh, Polycom and the Cisco. Uh, earlier uh, during the uh, video conference, you will need a hardware codec and the hardware codec can minimize the data of uh, your voice and the image uh, to a very small size, so it can transport to, uh, to be transported to the other end of the world. But right now with the wider bandwidth, uh, uh, I think uh, uh, many companies are trying to do uh, software-based decoding. And most uh, successful case during this pandemic, I believe is the Zoom. And of course, uh, uh, Tim is also getting more and more popular. Uh, after all, in the new Office 365, uh, every, actually every device of a PC, uh, the users can use this team service. So uh, in the future, we believe uh, this kind of uh, virtual uh, UC collaboration uh, will be a major uh, way for us to communicate uh, virtually uh, from point to point. Okay, so after we go through the background, let's uh, take a look uh, what uh, we have in Mania uh, before the pandemic and uh, after the pandemic. Before pandemic, uh, here from this uh, uh, Asian uh, Development Bank uh, and the TomTom -tom Traffic Index, uh, you see uh, it's very crowded and the uh, traffic is very bad. Uh, it, I, I believe that the citizen living in Manila, you, you need to uh, spend a lot of time in commuting every day uh, because of this traffic. Yeah. But right now, after pandemic, uh, we can see, here's a video. So where are the people going uh, after the pandemic? We all stay at home because uh, uh, the social distance, because we need to stay at home. We cannot go to office. We cannot go to schools. So everything need to be done at home. Sorry. So this is the problem of uh, the change. Uh, there's nobody uh, outside on the street uh, or stay at home, maybe 24 hours a day. And in these 24 hours, uh, you need to take care of your family, but you still need to carry on uh, your, uh, your jobs uh, to keep, get the things done. So how to uh, manage uh, this work from home, study from home uh, in a more efficient way? Uh, I think uh, it's uh, the problem we need to deal with and to service, uh, uh, to try to solve these problems for the uh, users, uh, customers at this moment. And this is our opportunity. Okay, so no matter you are studying from home or you work from home, we believe communication is still the key. Uh, even we have a good infrastructure, but we still need to have a good equipment so we can uh, have this uh, communication in a good level, in, in good quality level. 
uh, so that uh, can ensure your uh, learning efficiency and uh, uh, job performance. So how to keep uh, daily learning as much as the same as before, how to keep uh, daily working output as much as uh, the same before. Uh, I think this is uh, uh, the things we can help. Okay, so if you look into uh, the new line portfolio uh, from our website, uh, we have a couple of websites from US to Europe and the APEC. You will see we have a line of uh, solutions to offer uh, from this uh, uh, touch screen. Even it's the same touch screen, but from big size to small size, we define it to service different, uh, should say, scenario. Uh, from big meeting room to medium meeting room to huddle space uh, to work from home, uh, your personal desktop. Uh, we have a different solution to offer. Yeah. So how to set up your own virtual communication? Uh, it's easy. As long as you have your internet, no matter it's from landline or from your 4G cell phone, I think as long as you can make it a uh, SharePoint, you can have your PC, uh, your cell phone, your laptop connect to the internet. And after that, uh, what you need to have is a good quality uh, speaker microphone and uh, a screen. Uh, for the office, of course, you need a bigger display uh, for the public. Uh, even right now, uh, we cannot go to office, but in the future, we believe uh, as long as uh, uh, the social distance become, uh, the restrict become loosened still, we will need uh, some people uh, working from the office. Uh, in the meantime, of course, maybe still 50% of the colleagues, they need to work from home. So how to cooperate uh, uh, the, the, the things from, office and home, I think uh, you are, our users will need these solutions. So we have a uh, uh, big screen, we have a small screen, and all of them uh, come with uh, video microphone camera uh, accessories. And the third part is uh, uh, when we are doing the communication on the cloud, uh, here are the tools which can help you, uh, like uh, the Zoom, like the team, like the Google Meet, uh, these are all, uh, should say, almost free software, or you need, just need to pay a certain small fee, but you can use the service and it's very convenient and friendly to use. Uh, and of course, there are also some, uh, should say, social, uh, should say media platform, like this uh, YouTube. Uh, for example, I believe, uh, uh, maybe some of the webinar or trade show right now, they already converted into the uh, online webinar. And uh, not only the real time uh, webinar like what we are in right now, but after the webinar, I believe this material can be uploaded to the YouTube or some other uh, multimedia platform. So the users, uh, they as long as they have the access, uh, no matter where they are, what time they want, as long as they go to the specific portal, they can take a look, they can browse those material whenever they need. Uh, and there are also uh, some tools to help this kind of online media to be produced. So with our solution uh, here, uh, majorly couple uh, applications. First is casting. Casting is helping the users to have their own material uh, what is the, uh, present to the big screen. Uh, and this one, uh, of course, support multiple platform from Android to Mac to Windows to iOS, uh, we all support. And at the same time, you see if you use the Zoom uh, for all the devices to look, uh, to log in the same, uh, Zoom meeting ID, uh, you can also do the same thing. Yeah, so that's the, what uh, existing technology can help us as well. As I found that uh, the broadcasting, I think it's uh, the reverse, the same. Uh, how to cast and how to push the, the material from the big screen uh, to the uh, 
so small devices. Uh, this is for uh, messy uh, attendance uh, occasion, uh, like uh, in big meeting rooms or in the big classrooms. Uh, for those uh, students or attendees, uh, they sit uh, a little bit far away from the screen. And uh, with this technology, they can, they can have uh, the same page uh, of the touch screen uh, from their handheld device. And the third one is the display management plus, which we believe uh, for such kind of uh, big screen, uh, when it installed in the campus or in the office, uh, the IT manager might need to manage a couple devices at the same time. And uh, what happens is uh, if there's some problem to one specific uh, device, uh, for the IT manager, he might need to arrange time and walk into the specific meeting room or classroom to figure out the problem. Uh, with this display management uh, software, uh, the IT uh, administrator, uh, they can just uh, use the online portal uh, to log in and to check the status of each individual machine. So they can uh, do the reboot, uh, do the uh, data analysis of the specific machine and to do the sharp troubleshooting. So some problems uh, may be after this uh, online uh, analysis, uh, it can be solved. It can save the uh, IT administrator a lot of time in walking uh, back and forth into each classroom or meeting room. And the last one is uh, the Teach Infinity, which is uh, a software uh, specifically for the school for education. It's a, uh, it's a teaching platform uh, for teachers uh, to organize their teaching materials and for their presentation, no matter it's in physical classroom or in the uh, online classroom. Okay, so with uh, this uh, uh, online virtual software uh, applications and uh, some of our tools and hardware, I think all these uh, can become a solution and it can become a virtual communication ecosystem uh, depends on uh, what the users they need. They can choose whatever uh, they, they prefer to. Uh, to, to adapt to their environment, to improve their communication efficiency. Uh, so this slide gives you an idea of how to integrate uh, the hardware and the software solution, software to be a solution. And aside from that, uh, I believe uh, uh, after we have tool, uh, here we are going to share with you also some of the resources which we can use these tools to improve uh, your learning or your uh, working output. Uh, these are a couple many, uh, I should say, uh, skill or I should say, uh, sub resources which you can get online. And uh, these subjects are all are available uh, for top expert instructions. Okay, and here is the resource for education that uh, from Han Academic uh, to Tech uh, to Co Academic, these are the platforms which you have a resource uh, to cover many different subjects uh, for education. So the next uh, would be uh, after we uh, present you uh, the problems we have uh, nowadays and uh, the opportunity we have. And the next will be, okay, what might be the business for all of us uh, in during this pandemic? What we are doing is not the only to, of course, we are trying to help uh, to improve the efficiency during this big change in our daily life. But uh, it will be good if it can become also part of our business. So here we are going to share with you what we might can do uh, for the market. Uh, first uh, illustration, this is uh, uh, normally how we do in the meeting room. Uh, for example, here is a two touch screen with uh, one uh, Logitech camera. 
And this is uh, in a middle, middle size meeting room to big size meeting room. Normally we will have this kind of uh, deployment. Uh, one uh, screen will be used to present the material. The other screen, which you will see uh, the image from the other endpoint. Uh, so this uh, we can do uh, with this kind of solution, we can do uh, recording and transcripts. Uh, we can also uh, have a built-in annotation tools uh, from the room. Uh, for example, here, uh, if I select the annotation tool, I can use the room annotation tool to do the annotation. Okay, for example, let's see here. Here. If I have a screen, then I can write even better. So with this, we can also have a, a streamed calendar uh, to synchronize uh, the calendar between point to point on the Outlook, uh, Gmail, or iCalendar. We can also have uh, a filter reactions, pools, uh, hand rise. These are the feature of Zoom. Of course, there is a team chat group dialogue, which is later, if you have uh, questions, please leave your question there. And after the presentation, we will respond to your questions. Okay, here uh, I'm going to share with you a solution for a webinar presentation, uh, which can be used in events, uh, churches, uh, TV station, or governments. Uh, here is an example uh, from Indonesia. Uh, he is a very famous priest uh, who is now, originally he is teaching the Bible during uh, the weekend in church, but right now because of uh, pandemic social distance, so people cannot go to church. So they turn this kind of uh, event into uh, online webinar. Injil Markus pasal 15 ayat 21 pada waktu itu lewat seorang yang bernama Simon orang Kirene ayah Alexander dan Rufus yang baru datang dari luar kota mari kita garis bawahi luar kota untuk masuk dalam karya terbesar Tuhan Yesus dalam perjalanan Via Dolorosa ada cukup banyak orang di Yerusalem tapi kok Simon dari Kirene yang dipakai itulah cara Tuhan kita lihat sama-sama Kirene ini letaknya di North Afrika dan jarak yang sangat jauh. Tapi lihat kalau Tuhan mau pakai seseorang, mau jaraknya jauh, bagi Tuhan tidak ada yang musnah. Saya berdoa dan percaya, hari ini Tuhan bisa pakai hidup saudara untuk melakukan terobosan demi terobosan. Meskipun ada pandemi, tapi saya percaya karya Tuhan, kuasa Tuhan jauh lebih besar, lebih dari cukup untuk menolong kehidupan saudara dan saya. Haleluya. Okay, hallelujah. So you see, this is a demonstration uh, of uh, how touchscreen can be uh, used uh, during uh, church in the church for the priest to uh, teach Bible. And the same uh, scenario, which later we can see uh, in other different applications, uh, we will share with you. So in this setup, you can see we have a, a 4K display, a touch display from New Line. And you don't need the extra PC or laptop because uh, there is uh, OPS PC on the back side. So basically, this touch screen is a big, uh, uh, big uh, PC with uh, with 65 inch display. And on this, uh, on top of this, as long as you have a camera and microphone uh, in front of the screen, then the priest can be become a presenter and all these uh, material can be uh, real-time broadcast uh, or recorded uh, uh, and upload to those media platform. Okay, and here is another example, which is for uh, distance learning and uh, online coaching. Uh, this example, I think we have two examples. One is from India and one is from Japan. So here we can see. Moses and Matrix 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 arrangement family tree funda. 
क्योंकि जैसे हम यहां से देखिए ये तो सब हमें छह पोजिशन दिए कोई काम की नहीं यहां से स्टार्ट करें असिस्टेंट मैनेजर इज मैनेजर ग्रांड सन अब देखिए पैरामीटर कौन कौन से हुए एक तो उसका नाम दूसरा वो मेल है या फीमेल है तीसरा उसका प्रोफेशन है ना तो मैं सोचना पड़ेगा ना ये सबको रिप्रेजेंट कैसे करूंगा तो मैं अब सोच रहा हूं देखिए फैमिली ट्री में हम क्या करते हैं उसका नाम लिखते हैं मेल फीमेल ये तो हमने किया था है ना हमने आगे एक क्वेश्चन किया था बेसिक मेथड में तो अभी मुझे जैसे बोला असिस्टेंट मैनेजर इज मैनेजर ग्रांड तो मैं सोचता हूं यहां पर एक ब्रिकेट बना देते यहां पर प्रोफेशन लिख देंगे आगे नाम लिख देंगे पीछे मेल या फीमेल लिख देंगे तो इतना तो हो गया अब असिस्टेंट मैनेजर इज मैनेजर ग्रांड सन तो मैं ऐसे कुछ बना सकता हूं ना भाई जनरेशन याद है ना नीचे वाली जनरेशन नीचे जो उसके माँ बाप उसके मम्मी पापा वो ऊपर होते हैं अब ग्रांड सन यानी अब देखिए बैंक है तो जरूरी नहीं कि उस दोनों के बीच में जो उसके पापा होंगे वो भी वहां पे काम करते होंगे जरूरी तो कुछ है नहीं तो हम करते हैं चलिए यहाँ पे लिख देता हूं मैं असिस्टेंट मैनेजर यहाँ पे मैनेजर ग्रांड सन है इसलिए इसका तो मेल पता चल गया है ना इसका तो मेल पता चल गया राइट right, अब वापस ऊपर आ जाते हैं अब बोला है कैशियर इज स्टेनोग्राफ ओके हियर इज वन एग्जांपल फ्रॉम इंडिया व्हिच इज आवर यूजर बिकॉज़ राइट नाउ द पेंडेमिक सो स्कूल्स आर क्लोज्ड एंड द किड्स आर स्टे एट होम एंड हाउ टू कीप दोस किड्स दे कैन स्टिल स्टडी Uh, some of the parents uh, they will pay uh, some tuition to these kind of uh, online coaching uh, companies and these online coaching companies uh, they have uh, a famous teacher to conduct uh, different uh, lessons uh, in different subject and this one i think it's uh, it's about the uh, actually he is teaching uh, in hindi so uh, i'm not really know what he is talking about but the, uh, it seems like it's english lessons Okay, and the other case uh, we are going to share with you is uh, cashier jo hai wo stenographer ka jamai hai about the uh, positions to hai ab main sochta hu isko kis tarah bana we should have a, the other example from japan matrix banao kya matrix ka banta hu jab diya ho ye banda ye hai ye banda wo nahi hai hai na agar diya hota Okay, sorry. Uh, there's some problem, but no, no problem. Uh, here in this uh, scenario, you can see the teachers is using our ER series with uh, Teach Infinity, and uh, during the uh, presentation, he is using the Google Meet uh, for the students. So basically, uh, the same setup as the earlier church cases, but just they are trying to focus different audience. Uh, And conduct the different lessons. Oh yeah, here is one example from Japan. So some of the problems. This, eh, the first part of the paper. Then the next one is the answer. 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 あの解き始める前にこの部分リード文ってさっき言いましたけどこれね絶対にここをちゃんと読んでねでその、えー、ここにだって特に皆さんに対していろんな情報を与えてくれてますからリード文はきちんと読むこれはちょっと意識していってほしいんですちょっとリード文を拡大してみますこんな感じです、えー、次の資料1は資料2と文Okay, basically in these cases, uh, uh, the same setup, but just uh, they use a different software platform. Uh, there are many text book publishers. Uh, I, uh, maybe in the Philippines should be the same. But those uh, text, uh, textbook publishers, uh, they, because of this uh, uh, computer era, So, so most of them, I believe, already turn into turn the physical textbook also into a uh, digital content. So uh, this case, uh, this Japanese teacher, uh, he is using the digital content on the PC and to do the presentation and to do the teaching. Okay. Uh, 
about uh, we share some case study of uh, what the the solution can be applied in in some different uh, occasions and now we are going to share with you uh, for the people work from home uh, what solutions we have to help them uh, to stay productivity uh, while they uh, work from home so here we will present you the new line flex uh, it's a external uh, extended uh, touch monitor with uh, uh, all the UC uh, equipments from the microphone camera uh, to the PCAP uh, pen input status. And with this device, just one USB type C cable connected to your laptop and it can, you can have a bigger view and better uh, video conference quality uh, from this big screen. And it, it works with all the PC-based uh, software uh, from the Zoom to the Skype to the video, whatever. Okay, so let's uh, have a look at this one. So you can see the flex is a 27 inch desktop uh, display with uh, uh, high quality microphone, camera, uh, speaker, everything built in one device. It can be used uh, at the uh, home. It can also be used uh, at the uh, huddle room, huddle space in your uh, office in the near future when uh, we can be back to office after this pandemic. So with this uh, touch screen, uh, we'll be able to do something more when we are uh, working on the same document or working on uh, specific design. Okay, so this is our flex. Uh, okay. By the way, uh, we have uh, Red Dot Design and IF Design Award for this uh, flex product. Okay, so uh, here is a summary after we share the solution and uh, how to make it uh, in our real world uh, in different applications for you uh, from the couple cases sharing earlier. Uh, overall, we want to uh, share with you and highlight again is uh, we are trying to have uh, uh, software uh, and uh, software available in the market and our hardware uh, combined together to become a solution uh, which can deliver the most uh, efficiency uh, way for users to keep their work or their learning working and also uh, we're trying to make uh, this solution affordable uh, because uh, during this pandemic i think uh, uh, all the business will suffer from suffer a lot how to save the cost uh, would be also a key uh, for those uh, uh, organizations uh, or enterprise. So what we are trying to do is uh, organize all the online uh, available resources with uh, the most uh, affordable uh, hardware solution then become a total solution to our users. And this application can be applied to uh, huddle space, uh, to small, medium, big size meeting rooms. Also here, you can see. Okay, and it's about to end of uh, my presentation. And before that, uh, we are going to share with you some case studies, uh, which uh, this one is uh, uh, a video conference touchscreen installation. Uh, happened in Indonesia. And this is in Indonesia Presidential Palace, which we have uh, one screen there uh, for those uh, parliament uh, officers uh, meeting. And here is an example from Malaysia, uh, two examples from Malaysia. One is a German Malaysian institution and the other is a University of Malaysian 
uh, police. Yeah. Okay, here is uh, one example from Philippines. This is uh, from OB Montessori Professional High Schools. Yeah. Okay. Before the end of my presentation, here is an illustration. I think uh, it tells everybody pretty much what we are, the era we are in now. Uh, everyone, I suppose you already, you should have at least one cell phone. And from the cell phone, you have all the applications uh, uh, from the image taking to, uh, to, the, to the audio virtual and to the communication. And most of them are actually work uh, on the cloud. So the same, uh, the same device, but in different format. Uh, for example, what we are trying to do is the big size touchscreen, which is uh, a device for public. Uh, for your cell phone, your laptop, uh, uh, your tablet, maybe for you yourself, one person is good enough. But if we are, talk, we, we are in an environment which uh, we have uh, more, more participants, then we will need a big display. So the same concept, uh, we see the opportunity and we devote ourselves to create such kind of uh, big uh, touch screen uh, since uh, seven, five years, uh, seven, eight years ago. And now uh, because of this application is become much more, more uh, should say stable and popular. So we foresee uh, this uh, demand will boom in the near future. And this uh, pandemic is actually uh, accelerate the, 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 the happening of uh, this everything because uh, uh, earlier we still, uh, one year, two years ago, we still used to talk face-to-face. Uh, -face. But after this one year, uh, the, the totally change of the world, I think we are trying to get used to uh, talk uh, to each one virtually. And we believe, uh, in this past one year, all the enterprise uh, or uh, organization, they, uh, even the, the movement of is restricted, but the, the communication uh, because of this uh, bandwidth and the internet, I think the communication is, uh, should, everybody should feel it's actually easier and better than ever. Yeah. For example, earlier, uh, we, if we want to have a business trip, we might need to spend like a, a couple of days or even one week if we want to fly to the other country. And we will just uh, maybe spend the half day time uh, to talk face to face. But right now, because of this restriction of movement, so we cannot go travel. But in the other end, with the help of uh, the technology, actually the communication frequency and the quality uh, is better than before. Uh, that's uh, uh, how, we, how we feel uh, at this moment. So after, even after this pandemic, uh, will we go back to those uh, uh, frequent face-to-face uh, -face meeting or uh, in-school uh, learning teaching? Uh, we are not sure. But uh, I should say, uh, you will not go back to the original uh, life we have. In the future, we believe even uh, this pandemic uh, is go away, uh, we will still have such kind of uh, hybrid uh, uh, working and learning, which should be a uh, certain percentage they will still sit in physical uh, office or classroom, and there will be much higher uh, portion of percentage uh, which they will learn uh, from these uh, remote uh, devices. So uh, overall, uh, I think uh, uh, the cloud unified cooperation actually uh, help the entire society a lot from uh, cost saving from Efficiency, uh, common efficiency improvement uh, from different point to point uh, at uh, any time. Whenever, if you want to have a call, you just log in the same uh, meeting ID and you can be connected together. Yeah, let's uh, uh, should say 20 years ago, uh, such kind of thing cannot happen, but right now it happens. 
and it helped uh, the entire communication a lot. So with this, uh, I think we can uh, create a lot of uh, creativity, imagination, and uh, efficiency, and all because of this, uh, uh, see, cloud unified collaboration. And this kind of uh, evolution, uh, it will impact, it will goes to all the industries, uh, not only some specific uh, occasional industry, or go to all the uh, industries from construction to bank to finance services and manufacturing. So that's the end of my presentation. Uh, thanks for your time. I hope uh, uh, this presentation uh, give you some idea of what the uh,